Welcome to Winsouls TV. This is your host, Jeff Thomas, and I have a great message for you guys today. So today we are talking about forgiveness over vengeance, and we have a great example of it in the Word. We are coming out of Genesis 50, uh, 15 through 21. Let me read that for you guys. When Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, perhaps Joseph will hate us and will pay us back for all of the evil that he did, that we did to him. And they sent a messenger to Joseph saying, your father commanded you before he died, saying, so shall you say to Joseph, forgive, I pray you, the trespass of your brother and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now we pray you. Forgive the trespass of the servants of your father's God. And Joseph wept, and they spoke thus to him. Then his brothers went and fell before him, saying, See, we are your servants. And Joseph said to him, to them, Fear not, for am I in my God's place? Basically saying, is, Vengeance is not mine, but it is the Lord's. As for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring about that many people should be kept alive as they are this day. Now, therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for and support you and your little ones and be comforted. And he comforted them and spoke to their hearts kindly. Now, that is such a powerful message. Why? Simply because the Lord has given us a will to do whatever we want to do. And even with that willpower that he has given us, we have the power to even go against him or, and go against believing in him. You see, go against believing in him. So a lot of the times based off of our emotions, based off our uh, feelings and the specific um, expressions of our soul, because the soul is compri comprised of the mind, the will and the emotions. Now, I'm going to say one very powerful thing that I heard in a business conference. And this quote has stuck with me ever since. He said that emotions get in the way of motion. Write that down. Emotions, our feelings and our emotions get in the way of motion. What does that mean? Our emotions get in the way of motion. Basically, what that says is a, us as true believers, us as, as true Christians, we are moving uh, in zeal, moving uh, toward the power of God, moving in the full expression of God. We are excited for God. We are going out and ministering. We are doing the very things that this word has told us to do. We are out here preaching, ministering, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out demons. And then something happens in our life. We get heartbroken or we go through a, a painful divorce or our kids get taken away from me uh, or us. And, and, and now we have to pay child support or, or, or our kids get taken away from us. And, and then we we have to get on these little systems to where we only get to see them every other weekend or every other week or however it's designed. Then we go through a period of brokenness. And then this is where Satan likes to creep in. And this is where we are at our weakest. Why do I bring all of that up? Because now that zeal that the Lord has planted within us, that zeal that we are using to move toward Christ is slowly but surely being broken and suppressed by our emotions. That motion that we are using to to go out there and spread the word is literally being broken by our emotions. So Joseph's brothers here, they're immediately thinking, you know what? When he was a kid, you know, he was he was dad's favorite. You know what I'm saying? Dad made him this 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 uh this this cloak, this this garment of clothing. It was colorful. I mean, he was the favorite. We out here doing all of this, busting our butts. 
and, and he's just over here and he's the favorite. Then he has these two dreams and what, we supposed to be serving him now? No, you know what? We gonna kill him. Better yet, matter of fact, we just gonna throw him in this ditch because of our emotions. So they immediately thought that Joseph was gonna repay them back for their full expression of vengeance that they did when they were caught up in their emotions. But Joseph said, no, no, I'm not going to repay that because vengeance is mine. Isn't mine. Vengeance is the Lord's. Vengeance is the Lord's. And let me just, just to drive this home, let me just tell you, let me just tell you what else the word says about vengeance or about evil. And when we begin to act out of our emotions now, Satan loves to try and control our emotions. Satan loves to try and control the atmosphere that influences our minds. So with that said, just keep in mind that our emotions slow down our motion. Emotions get in the way of motion. So whenever there comes a time to where you can use your willpower to repay somebody back for what they have done to you, this is what the word says about it. In Romans 12, 21, it says, be not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So we don't repay back, back people for what they did to us. The Lord will take care of that. But what we do is literally bless them. That is, that is our only job. Whether we want to or not, keep in mind that love is not an emotion. Love is not a feeling. When we are moving out of love, we are moving out of the way that the Lord has told us to move. Love is a choice. Love is a choice. It is an act of your will. So with that said, you just simply choosing to smile at somebody who has done you wrong, but genuinely smile, not a smirk as if, oh, I'm going to get you back one of these days, you know, but genuinely smile and just continue moving about your day, knowing that you literally sometimes you've even come to a place where you thought about killing that person. And I know that this is a Christian channel, but let's be real here. A lot of us move out of anger. Uh, you know, we have emotions. Sometimes we get angry. Sometimes we're joyful. Sometimes we're not. Sometimes we're lazy. Sometimes we're sleepy. Sometimes we're annoyed. And sometimes we just want to snap on people. But we have that choice whether we want to repay that vengeance, whether we want to move out of that evil, or we just want to pay them, repay evil with good. You guys be blessed. Forgiveness over vengeance. Have a good one.